Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Light 2925RE. This is a great couples model, big dual opposing slides really open this space up, allowing an excellent unit for entertaining, or if you have big families that like to come visit, maybe some friends, you have lots of alternative sleeping options in here as well. Let's start off with our campsite slide out here in our main living area. So the cool thing about this folks is they were able to put in a tri-fold sofa right here. If you're not familiar with the tri-fold, this is the preferable type of sleeper sofa because it makes a much larger bed than your jackknife. It's comfortable to sleep on. You don't have a big bar in your back or have an air mattress that's going to deflate on you. And it's big enough where two adults can comfortably sleep. You can actually see, I'll pull these cushions off because this right here is what you actually get to sleep on. So you can see how nice and soft that is. And it's easy to make up. You take these cushions off. This actually lifts up and out. This back part folds down. So uh, again, simple to make up, very comfortable bed. I like the fact that they were able to put that in here. Window right behind that to let in some natural light. And then right here, you have some overhead compartments. So a little extra storage as well as the LED light right there in the center. If we take a look along the back here, this is pretty common for a rear entertainment. Um, what they give you is a giant rear picture window. So this way, if you have a nice view out the back, you can certainly enjoy that right here. If you like to watch TV while you're camping, that's not a problem as well. You have plenty of space in which you can set one here. And what you'll notice is that you have these audio video cables, which are connected to this multimedia center here. So this is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, pop it in, plug these in the back of your TV and you are good to go. Speakers there on either side as well for excellent sound quality. If you need to plug anything else in, you'll see on both sides of the window, you have some electrical outlets there. And then right up top, a couple LED lights helping to brighten it up, as well as additional storage going across the top. You'll see they actually have this lid as well. You have a little light switch up here, but I think that's pretty cool. Uh, one, you know, you can see it through the glass, just kind of helps give it a, a nice extra aesthetic. But also, if you are getting up there for any storage, it makes it easier to get to, or rather the fact that you can actually see it when the light is on at night. If we take a look right underneath here, underneath our entertainment center, you have additional storage down here too. I'll open that up for you so you can take a look there. But nice deep storage going all the way across. A lot of times these entertainment centers, you only have enough room for DVDs, but that's not the case here. You know, again, that's pretty good storage. Uh, you know, I myself, I'd probably throw some snacks in here, but that's because I like to sit on the couch and watch or eat snacks sometimes I'm watching TV. So, uh, but either way, good storage right in there. Right over here on the off door side is your super slide. Now what you'll notice is on this side they have a jackknife instead of a trifold. But that's only because you can't have two opposing trifolds without going to a wide body, which is more common in fifth wheels, but not so common in a travel trailer. But personally, I like having one of each. You have the sleeping with the trifold. The jackknife sofa, on the other hand, gives you a lot of storage. Look at that underneath, folks. You want a place to put that bedding for when you have guests stay the night. You can put pillows under there, blankets, sheets, everything else. Or if you have larger items and you have no other place to put them, that's a good storage spot for them there. Also, the... Uh, the sofa in here, the jackknife, actually has armrests, so that way you have a place to put your arm. They're removable, so if you do uh, have anyone lay down here, because this of course does drop down into a smaller bed, you can remove those on both sides so you have the full length. And take a look at this. You even have a center console there, another armrest, so it is super comfy. And then you have some cup holders there as well, so you have a place in which you can set your beverage. Going across the top, they didn't waste any space. You have some additional storage there. LED lights, of course, and then windows all along this entire slide. One of the things I like about this light fixture, if you take a look from underneath, uh, they, they have this, um, I don't know, almost like not a screen, but this kind of like piece of plastic right here, but it helps soften up the light. And when you're talking about LED lights, I like that they do this because a lot of times LED light is very harsh and when you're sitting here at the table you want that softer light that helps diffuse the light a little bit make it a little bit softer and again it is still LED most manufacturers won't put an LED light in here it'll actually be your standard halogen so that's something you'll want to watch for especially if you're planning on doing a lot of boondocking because that will certainly drain your battery a lot quicker so having the LED light there is great 
Also, this does drop down into uh, additional sleeping space if you need it. So you simply remove the legs here, table drops down right here along the rails, put cushions on it, that gives you your extra bedding. Otherwise, obviously your dinette is a place where you can play games, eat, everything else you need, your standard table for. Let's take a quick look across the way here as we get into the kitchen. So right here from your uh, main entertainment area, you'll see you do have some storage or uh, access to storage rather. So you have access right up top there as well as right down below. Now, personally, I'd probably put pots and pans down there. But, you know, again, whatever you want to put in there, you certainly can do so once it's yours. Countertops, upgraded countertops in here. They've gone to thermoform countertops, which are phenomenal. It's basically a solid surface. You know, you don't have to worry about T-mold breaking off or coming apart. It's a lot more durable and it allows for an undermount sink, which gives a much cleaner look. You see here, you have the sink top cover on there. So you're able to utilize all this as prep space. And when we take that off, you have your composite 60-40 double bowl sink. So larger on the left, smaller here on the right. Just perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And then you also have the high-rise, almost industrial style faucet there. So a uh, nice kitchen faucet, uh, you know, really accentuates the, the kitchen itself, which is great. You see it a lot in a residential trend and you're starting to see it now more in RVs as well. Of course, window right behind that to let in some natural light, LED light there for light at night as you would expect. Take a look over to the side of that. This is cool too, you have a backlit backsplash. I think this is really neat. One, again, it helps make the kitchen pop. The other thing though is it's very functional. You know, you get a bunch of bacon and stuff on there. This is way easier to clean than the wallboard, so I like that. And then again, that LED rope lighting just makes it look pretty darn cool. Three burner cooktop, the front one there being high output, stainless steel uh, a suite of appliances in here. We drop this down, of course, that is your oven if you want to do some baking. As far as storage underneath, you have storage here for a small trash can, which is great. And then you can't have a functional kitchen without a couple drawers. So there it is, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have one for your silverware, another one for some of your larger appliances like you know, your spatula, spoons, things like that. Right here, this is access to that same storage I showed you earlier, but just access from the kitchen side. And they kind of have like the, the beadboard on here, you know, so a, a fancier looking door than just your uh, standard door. Helps break up the look a little bit, which I like. Microwave, which again is stainless steel, and then your hood here as well, which has both the light and fan. Take a look at this though, folks. This is incredible. You know, if you're looking for, uh, you know, a lot of pantry space, this one certainly has it. Far too often you have these beautiful layouts, you know, you have a nice kitchen and you have no storage, just no place to put anything. Not at all the case here. You can put plates in here, you can put appliances like your toasters, food, uh, you know, everything else. You just have a ton of room here and then you have a couple more drawers right down below. So all in all, you have a ton of storage in this kitchen. Then lastly, right across the way is your fridge-freezer combo. You, you know, you can't have a successful kitchen without having cold storage, so uh, that's what you have here. Plenty of room in there as well. This is a Norcold unit, and it does run off both propane and electric with automatic switchover. When we come right out here, right before we walk into the door, take a look at this. This is pretty neat too. So again, more storage right here. Uh, personally, I would probably use this as a linen closet so you can put your towels and stuff in here, but you know, whatever you want to use it for, you certainly can. Obviously, the entry door is right over here. Uh, a couple last things. Uh, one of the other things I like, this is pretty neat. You know, sometimes the small things are what just kind of catch my attention because, you know, you don't always see it. And things like this. You have lights right here. Now, you can turn those off if you so desire, but the thing I like about it is you walk in, you have these lights on. You know, you don't have to have your overhead lights on. This is enough where you can see to at least come in, turn the rest of the lights on. Or if you just want to leave them on so guests can get into the bathroom, they can see where they're going. It's pretty darn cool. And if you come around over here, this is something else that I really like, and that is the in-command system. Folks, this is phenomenal. The cool thing about this, instead of having that big, ugly panel, you have this system right here, and everything is touchscreen. It's all simple and easy to use. Take a look at this. You have your living room lights. You know, you want to turn them on and off, just touch of a button. Your outside light, your awning, control your slides. Your, um, the awning itself is in here. Your water heater, your pump. Um, you know, just everything right there, which is pretty darn cool. You hit that one, you have your tank monitoring panel, you know, I mean, everything is here. It's super simple to use. And I'll show you the brain box uh, when we go outside and how easy it is to troubleshoot that as well.
As we walk into the bathroom, you'll see there are two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one here into the master bedroom. Right in between is your foot flush lever toilet, porcelain bowl on here, folks, so it's nice and easy to clean, and as you can see, you have plenty of leg room. Right over to the side is the Neo Angle shower, and I like the fact they put your uh, roller glass doors in here, because that way when you're done showering and you open the doors up, the water stays inside. It goes right down into the shower pan, rather than a swing style door where it's all over, or a curtain, you know, which can make a big water mess. So I really do like that. When I step in here, I'll kind of show you an idea of height. I'm six foot. You see, I have plenty of room here, even without the skylight, but with it, it'll give you a couple extra inches so you can shower in here. Hand wand, of course, as well, and then you have some shelves there too. Right over to the side, mirrored medicine cabinet up top here. Uh, actually, right above that, I should say, is your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape, but medicine cabinet there down below. Take a look at this, folks. You have good space on either side here, so if you have like a curling iron or something you want to set there, hair dryer, you can do that. Plug it in here as well. You have to forgive me, it's a little wet. I got a little bit of snow in here earlier, but uh, you know, either way, good space all up top there. And then down below, you have lots of storage too. So if you want to put a trash can in here, you have plenty of space in which you can do it. Now, right across the way, there's a couple things. Right up top here, you see you have a robe hook, so a good place to hang towels. Over to the side of that. If you don't want to use that, uh, you know, out in the hall is a linen closet, which I had showed you. That's fine because there's another one dedicated right in here. So depending on how much stuff you have, you can certainly put towels in here as well. Obviously, you have some room there for some of your other, um, you know, essentials, your bathroom essentials there. And then you have two drawers down below. As we move up into the bedroom here, my favorite part is the bed itself. The reason, folks, is because this is a 60 by 80 true residential queen size bed. The great thing about that, if you're a taller person, your feet aren't going to hang off. You get that extra six inches uh, on the length, so it's you know just as big as your bed at home if you have a queen bed at home. And also, if you plan on replacing the mattress, maybe you want a more comfortable mattress, a Tempur-Pedic, something like that, you can again fit a residential queen size bed in here, which is pretty darn cool. On both sides of the bed, you have storage, but you have a couple different types. The one side here, you'll see you have a nice nightstand with a drawer there, electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. And then right up above, you have the uh, shelf built in there. That door does have a mirror, but some additional storage there, probably for folded clothes, as well as storage going across the top here. You have the uh, tinted glass on there, and then LED light underneath. Uh, right up front, you have this cool wall board. I really like this too. It kind of gives it that, that rustic look and feel in here, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, right over to this side. So this one, they, uh, they forewent the a uh, nightstand there and instead give you a wardrobe. So a, spa a spot to hang clothes there it is nice and deep. So if you, you know, do want to fit some folded clothes in the back, you can. You also have a nice little drawer here. And then underneath you have an electrical outlet as well as a USB port. Okay, again, in case you need to plug in any kind of electronics. Right up behind me here is a spot to mount the TV. They did put a backer in the wall. They put a sticker on there so you know exactly where to mount it then the corresponding connections are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman 2925RE. Starting off right up front, you have your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover here. Super easy to get in there. Just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you have access to the tanks. Right behind that, you see rails there for your battery. And then coming up the front here, you have this uh, protective plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Gorgeous front cap here on the Coleman light. You see some LED lights inlaid, the strips there on the side, which give it a really nice look at night. Take a look at this too, folks. This is huge. This is the industry's best three-year structural warranty. If you want to talk about peace of mind, knowing that the manufacturer is going to stand behind their product, that right there should definitely do it for you. Coming around to the side, solar prep. If you want solar, all I have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. That is a great option when boondocking. Right over to the side here is the pass-through. Covered hinge on there so you don't have to worry about uh, you know, any kind of rust or anything. It's not going to rust out and have a bunch of ugly rust coming down your door. It's magnetic, slam latch here as well. But magnets are great. You put it up there, it stays up there. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, we have some water runoff off the top here, but let's go ahead and take a look inside here anyway. So we'll open it up. Nice big pass-through storage. You see it has a big wide door on both sides, folks. 
That's awesome, especially with some of the larger items they have these days, like big grills. You have uh, you know, some of the wider chairs. You can fit that in on either side. You also have an LED light strip going all the way across there, so it lights up that entire front end. And then that in-command brain box is right here. The cool thing about this is it has all the manual controls right there. When you undo that, you can get inside this little toggle switch. You can go from the slides to you know, the awning or anything else. Just touch a button, be able to run those in and out. So definitely a very cool system there. Speaking of power, take a look at this right here. You have power stabilizer jacks. You see right down below, there's a light. It actually lit the jacks up. The thing I like about that is if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, just lets you see a little better. Or, you know, maybe you uh, go off to your buddy's campfire. You come back at night, makes it easier to see your RV, as well as be able to see to climb up the stairs too. Just helps lighten things up a little bit. But the power stabilizer jacks, folks, those are awesome. It's really simple and easy to uh, set up your RV. No longer do you have to get down there and, you know, manually crank them up and down. Power awning on here too. You know, again, they're, Coleman's trying to make camping easy for you. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have the power awning go right back in. You'll also see an LED light strip there underneath. So, uh, you know, that way if you want light at night, all you have to do is flip a switch and you are good to go. Foldable easy grab handle right here. This makes it super simple to climb into the RV. You'll also see three aluminum steps. The aluminum steps are great because they don't rust. And so that way you'll have nice looking steps for the life of the RV. You have the grip strips on here too. So if it is wet like it is right now, you know I have good grip when climbing up, especially in conjunction with this foldable grab handle right here. I have excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. If you like to watch TV outside, right here are your hookups. You have a cable outlet right there, electrical outlet right next to it. Even if you're not a big TV watcher, at least you still have an electrical outlet out here for anything else you want to plug in. Whether you want to set up a table and have an electric griddle here or charge a cell phone, you can do all that right there. Making our way down a little bit further, take a look right here, folks. You have beautiful aluminum rims on there. Those look great and just like the steps, those aren't going to rust out on you either. And you have nitrogen filled tires. Uh, if we take a look right up top underneath the power awning there, you see your outside speakers. So if you want to listen to some music while you're out here, you can certainly do that. Those are controlled by that multimedia center I showed you inside back by the TV. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so you can be out here and connect to that via Bluetooth. Water heater here, fresh water inlet. If you're going boondocking and need to fill your fresh water tanks, that is the place you will do it right there. A couple quick features here on the back. One is your spare tire, which is mounted on the bumper. The great thing about this spare tire, folks, is there's really no easier place to get to it. Plus, it has the cover right here, so you know it'll be in good shape in the event you ever have to use it, which hopefully you never do. Uh, there, right there is the big rear picture window. As I mentioned, we were inside. Directly above that, you'll see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having it prepped makes it a lot easier to have it installed, which means it will save you money on labor. This is a pretty big RV. It may not be a bad idea to get that so you can see what's behind you to make sure you're not going to hit anything. On the off door side here, right here is your 30 amp detachable power cord cable inlet right next to that. And then up front, in front of the slide, you have your city water inlet. You also have an outside shower with both hot and cold water access, as well as your black tank flush. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Coleman Light 2925RE. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.